Now we are going to cover uh, the transaction codes used for Vim administration. So the first important transaction codes that will be used for Vim administration is SM37. So this is not related with anything related with open text Vim uh, transaction. It's a standard SAP transaction code that checks that helps you to monitor the jobs. As we said, there is a bunch of background jobs that needs to run for the Vim to work properly. The next one is slash ORS underscore UM reassigned. Okay, these this transaction code is used for reassigning invoiced approval items just to let you know when you are going to assign work items uh, you cannot be assigning the approval work item just by SWIA which is the next transaction code because the approval work item is a special work item you have there are lots of stuffs that needs to be changed in the technical portion like the workflow container so you have to use this transaction code SWIA if you also assign it will not work to the to the person who you are forwarding to SWIA transaction code you can use to forward non approval work items okay that's the that's the catch SWI5 as it is you can check the SAP inbox of a person so that you know the work item ID and and, uh, and uh, essentially you can assign the next one would be the Vim administration. This is useful because it goes through a uh, Vim goes through a bunch of steps. So our first step is document gets registered, then it gets moved to scan, then it moves to extraction completed. So all the status that gets updated is through background jobs, and if something is not getting updated through the Vim administration, you can force it. Only admin administration the system administrator or the vim administrator will have it they have this access as well as sometimes the ap director or manager okay the next one is updating the posting date on month beginning because lots of times what happens in some cases where you can default that the posting date is the system date is easy but if you have posting dates that is uh, that is based on the document date or some dates then uh, then it becomes difficult because you cannot so the thing is you cannot post invoices in the previous month because the fiscal period or the month has been closed in fi so you cannot post anything in the previous month so that's why this transaction code is used to update the posting date on month beginning okay then there are the next one is the year end non PO procedure. There are lots of things that you have to do in the year end for invoices, for uh, Vim invoices as well as SAP invoices. Because the, what happens on the year end, the 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 document number changes from one number to another because now the fiscal year is a different year. So you might have to change all those, and you have to change. So this is very useful. The same with you have to do with the month end this sometimes depends on different countries have different rules okay there can be rules for russia that you have to change all those things so these are very useful the same thing you have the same process for po invoices as well as month end po procedures now the next transaction is releasing invoice log for invoice approval now this this one goes this one goes along with along with this one okay so uh, uh this this one goes along with the um reassigned sometimes what happens the the approver sits on it and uh, forgets to work on it so in those cases you might have to release the lock that helps now the next one is the data browser se 16 there are some important tables that you have to go through it's better to know because it's easier to find it rather than going through one by one through all the all the transaction codes and then you have the normal workflow administration one swi2 underscore diag to find out workflows which are the vim workflows that are in error that needs ass uh, assistance and last but not the least since vim works everything related with workflow sw3 is the most important transaction so this needs to work because 
vim is running on workflow and if workflow needs to run then sw3 needs to run first okay so this is very important so all these transaction codes uh, uh, we will go through in the system and discuss in details later